Hey, what's up guys? It's been a while since you see me on YouTube, but I'm here for a semi-big convention. I mean, it's a big convention to me. I've been preparing for it for the whole month, doing a bunch of art for it, but it's the Ranger Stop convention. And uh, right now I just wanna show you where I'm at. So if we come over here, I'm cutting stickers right now. I'm gonna get that ready. These are my framed prints. Um, got it bubbled, bubble wrapped and whatnot. This is my grid display box thingy thing. These are just suitcases and stuff I'm gonna fill up. I'm bringing Spider-Man cosplay. Um, I might do some sketching, some live sketching uh, on the easel. This is the easel. Bring him a yoga mat, foam roller, because my back gets messed up. I said the least during these cons of a bad back. Got the lights. These are the plastic, uh, blah, 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 blah. plastic um, cases for the artwork. What do I got in here? Commission sign, business card holders, more of the grid display. I don't really know what you call it. I guess that's what you call a grid display. Oh, that business cards over there. Sandbags so way down my display. I got clothes here. Um, these are all my prints. <clears throat> got small ones. And just to show you what I've been up to, this is all the Power Ranger stuff I've been doing, which has been a hit on Instagram. These have been really popular on Instagram. Uh, I just hope it translates to the convention. And I sell a lot of stuff. A lot of Ranger stuff, a lot of Ranger stuff. This is like a selfie stick or... Uh, I'm gonna use this to record uh, me putting out my whole display. It, it goes really long. It extends. Sticker paper. Oh, this is new. Alright, so check this out. These are buttons. I've never sold buttons before, but I'm trying it out for this convention. Got some Power Ranger stuff. Anime. So that'll be on displayed on my table like that. These are extra prints that wouldn't fit inside the folders. Probably won't even get to them. Power. Look at all, all these Power Ranger prints. Oh my god, so much ink. So much ink. This is extra ink, which is not enough. Photo paper. But yeah, so I gotta get all of that inside these suitcases. I'm gonna pack the printer as well so I can print. On the go. Um, last time at Tampa Bay, the, did not work at the convention, but uh, I have a different idea now. Try it out, see what happens. So I just want to lay the foundation real quick before we get to the convention. Um, I'm gonna sign out for now, pack up, and pick my sister, and then I'll see you on the road. Bye bye. All packed and ready to go. I have so much stuff. It looks like I'm moving into another house right now. I don't even understand why I have all this, but this is the most important item the whole trip. This is a lifesaver. I've already been using it this morning. Alright, so we are officially on the road. We just picked up Jessica. Three hours to Orlando and then we get to set all this stuff up in the van. I do have a little present, if you want to call it a little surprise. Jessica likes to walk around at conventions and I tell her tell you in 20 minutes and then check in check back in with me but she doesn't seem to remember time or she'll forget so I got her a little something something you can, you can open that Alright, so I think I'm done with setting up the grid display now to put up the art. I do have some pieces left. Not sure what else I can do with it. I'll put the art up and see if I can build any more.
All right, so it's 2.30 right now. They, they let the VIP guests in at 3. Um, pretty much set up here. Got the lights up, fired up. Uh, right now, I'm just cutting stickers, finishing this up. Jessica is drawing and keeping herself busy. And uh, hope it gets crazy soon. Uh, you got ranger actors just walking everywhere. It's not, it's not, it's a very small venue, very um, intimate. So small isn't bad, it's intimate. So seeing a bunch of actors walk around and it's really cool. People from my childhood, um, people, new generation, old generation. So really interesting. This is the final setup. <laughs> Congrats. That's hilarious. Alright, so 346 just sold my first six prints. So someone bought six prints. Gave them a good deal on the on the last three. Um, that was cool. We're really nice people. One of the VIPs. Four o'clock is when the regulars come in. And uh, they're saying it's gonna pick up at four, of course, and then this weekend they're saying you're gonna do really well, so hope so. But right now, I'm gonna give these prints to my buddy Patrick David, who is the Psycho Red Ranger. He's over there in the distance, so go over and give them to him now. That's Patrick David, Mr. Psycho Red. Talking to fans. There he is. Hi, Jessica. Just laying on the dirty floor. She wants my phone so she can continue watching Power Rangers. Currently watching the In Space season. Just gave it to Patrick, he loved him. Nice dude. I didn't want to record it. He probably wouldn't have mine, but. Uh, a little awkward so but he gave me free stickers but he's, he said he's gonna give me some free stuff later um, which I'll show you I'll show you later he already told me what he's gonna give me so excited about it all right guys so it's 5 p.m. right now um, pretty slow I, I've sold to two customers and they each bought six six prints which is awesome because I never sell that many prints in one sitting I think I need to raise my prices because my deal is three, three, eight by eight, three prints for fifteen dollars. But if they buy extra, I'm kind of like, eh, I'll give you a deal. So I'm pretty much like giving the other ones away, like five dollars, one dollar, and uh, that's not gonna cut it. I'm not gonna make a lot of money that way. So, oh, I have... hi, I'm over here just vlogging. Oh. <laughs> Stars are out today. <laughs> Alright, so guys, it's six o'clock. <laughs> Convention ends at nine. I sold a few things so far, Hi. not too much. How much money I made? 25, about 74 dollars. So, uh, okay for Friday night, I guess. Saturday and Sunday should be a lot busier. We still have three hours left at the convention, so we'll see what happens. Uh, fingers crossed. Want to keep selling stuff? I've been giving fan art away to the people, to, to the actual act actors that are here. I would love to film it and vlog it. It'd be great footage, but I don't want it to look like fake. Like. It's, it'd be awkward for me to be like, ah, here, take this. Like, I want it to be sentimental and more personal. So, wish it could be on camera, but it's not. So, next, I'm gonna give this to John Tui. If you know who that is, I'll put a picture of who he is somewhere here. And that, that's who he is. Insert picture. But yeah, that's it for now. Catch you guys later. All right, so I gave a print to John over here, and he, and he said, uh, 
bring another print and he'll sign it. So I'm gonna do it right now. Probably have to wait in line though. Wow, this line got really long. Uh, just, just Got the whole squad, man. Go, go, Power Rangers. Oh, he's coming. He's wobbling. He's coming. He's quick. All right, Ranger stop. Everyone's outside. There was a fire alarm, so we're all outside. Some chilling. Say it's real and some say it's not real. Yeah, I think it's a false alarm, but it, they brought us out here just to be safe. But someone just pulled it pretty positive. All right, so we're leaving Ranger Stop. Uh, ended very slowly. There's not much to do. It's a small. Where's the button? Oh gosh. All right, so the ballroom is uh, it's pretty small. There's not many places to walk to. You got a little artist alley, and then the next row is people. Uh, well, there's some Rangers, and there's like some more vendors selling toys, and then the next row is all the actors, so there's just three rows. I've, I've never been to such a small convention, but to be honest, I, I don't know if I've ever s made as much money on this first day than I ever have in, in, in any other event. I don't know if that made sense, but Supercon, for example, on a Friday, uh, I don't think I made as much money as I did today. I made, uh, I think 90 bucks, which is good for a Friday. It's a work day. Saturday and Sunday should be a lot better, I hope. I didn't sell any frame work. I, I, I hope I sell that stuff. I want to get rid of that. Um, I might have to give a good deal on them if I want to get rid of them. But it was cool. I gave art to one actor, two actors, three actors, four actors. I gave art to. They loved it. Got got a picture with a couple of them. John Tui was supposed to sign a copy for me, a free copy, because I gave him artwork, and he ended up. Signing for her. Why did I bring her with me? Oh, there's a kid. Let me. There's a kid here. Let me let me sign it for a child. I'm a child. No, you're a 20 something year old. I gave him the artwork that I drew, and then he signs a copy for her. Mm -hmm. He kept asking her, "Oh, how are you doing? What about me, John? How am I doing, huh?" I'm an actual fan who watched the show. On the other hand, you didn't watch it at all. I watched some clips when I was drawing it. You watched some clips? Did you watch a couple episodes of where they almost died? I don't have time. No, for that. you didn't. I don't have time for all that. Anyways, really cool dude. Very, very awesome. You hear people say, oh, this guy's down to earth. This guy was really, really down to earth. Just like, just a regular dude. A dude, dude. Just really cool dude. <laughs> dude, dude. Really entertaining to listen to him talk to fans. Just and he doesn't hold anything back. He's really honest and very cool. Very cool. It's just a guy. Just a dude. Kind and he actually likes to fans. Yeah. Real fans. He, he loves many people. He he gives them that like his time and talks to them and engages. Very cool. I just hope I sell a lot tomorrow. That's it. We're about to head to the See? the Airbnb. This the lady gave me like a paragraph of instructions on what to do. Like. Oh my god, like so much. I thought I'd just drive there and open up the door and go in there, but she's, oh, turn on a lot of information. But I think we'll figure it out. All right, signing out. Bye. Interesting end to day one here. <clears throat> so, Airbnb, I walk in. There's a Spanish gentleman on his phone talking. There's another younger Spanish gentleman on the, on the couch with his laptop, and there's two kids running around in this living room. Surprised me. I uh, wasn't expecting a, crew, a group of people. Uh, they, they don't speak English really well. And um, yeah, it was weird. Um, kitchen's dirty, the sink doesn't drain all the way. The garbage can is really small. The bathroom's dirty. Uh, wow.
and, I, and, then, and then I went back on the Airbnb the app and looked at it. Looking at it. all the reviews are great, clean, yada yada. This that. Um, after ten, um, don't make you can't make a noise. And it's eleven right now. My little sister's out there playing with the kids, making a bunch of noise, and no one, no one seems to care. I mean, which is fine. I'm, I'm glad she's enjoying herself and not like surprised by everything like I am because my last Airbnb for Tampa Bay was secluded and by myself I had my microwave and a little mini fridge and I didn't talk to anybody this is weird I wasn't expecting this the, um, you know that last Airbnb they had shampoo and soap and all that this place they have that here but I, I don't know if it's theirs or it's for everyone's. It's really weird that the dishes are, again, I don't know if it's theirs for everyone. I don't understand if it, I, don't, I don't know if all the people here are he, staying at Airbnb like I am or they actually live here and they're renting out these rooms. I don't know what's going on. It's just strange and I wish I could ask them and talk to them, but they don't freaking understand me. Or barely they do. And it's just, It'd be difficult to communicate, so I'm really tired. Um, so we got here, I had to run to Walmart and get like a bacon sheet and tin foil and all this stuff so I can cook the food I brought. And uh, like I thought they'd have to throw some of those things, but they didn't. So, uh, and there's utensils out there, but I don't know if it's shared. Like, can we use the utensils? I'm so confused, it's just weird. I don't know. But I'm about to pass out. I have to wait for the food to get finished cooking. Jessica's out there wide awake playing games with the other kids out there. So. Gonna eat and go to bed. Alright, look at us guys. Eating from a baking sheet. The place has no plates. I didn't bring any plates, you know. Here we go. Yeah. Real ghetto here. It is what it is. I am so sleepy. After we're done eating this. I am so awake. Bedtime. Aww. In the AM. Ranger stop. <laughs> <laughs>